When a relative dies, it's a difficult time for all concerned. When the heirs live in another country, the difficulty is doubled. Different and often contradictory inheritance laws can be applied across the EU, creating legal log jams for those left behind. The EU wants to allow people living abroad to choose which rules apply to dividing their assets, those of their native country or those of their adoptive one. However, the UK, Ireland and Denmark won't be included. You have a huge situation of uncertainty that uh, exists currently where somebody can make a gift today uh, and of course their heirs are, are in a position to claim that gift back. We operate on the basis that well those assets belong to that individual and they could dispose of them during their lifetime in any which way that they chose fit. Cross-border inheritance cases are on the increase at around 450,000 a year accounting for 123 billion euros which means there's a lot of money at stake. It's also raised the question of gay rights. Only six member states recognise same-sex marriages. But when a partner dies, MEPs fought for recognition of their rights to succession in all 27. Wenn in einem Mitgliedstaat äh, homosexuelle Lebensgemeinschaften nicht anerkannt sind, dann wollten die auch nicht das Recht äh, anwenden, dass zum Beispiel durch ein Paar kommt, das dorthin übersiedelt ist, aber nach einem anderen Recht eines anderen Mitgliedstaates verheiratet ist. Das war schwierig zu verhandeln, aber glücklicherweise ist es gelungen. A European Certificate of Succession should be a reality by 2015. So if you live abroad in the EU, your last wishes would be carried out by your country of residence, unless you say the contrary in your will. Family trees with international branches will soon have more peace of mind when their loved ones rest in peace.